Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for when you come to them. For the tarot, I'm using Wild Reflections Tarot by Y-Spell. I think I'm saying that right. Um, there's a couple things with it. There is this QR code, I think is what it's called, with some information on it. So feel free to freeze frame on that if you want that information. There's also the website on the back, yspell.com. So if you want to see that, you can freeze frame and get that information if you want. Yspell, I think, is down over here somewhere. Okay. For the Oracle cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed um, I want to say the websites are here in the back. I'm pretty sure there's a Colette Baron reed website. I don't know if it's at the bottom of that, though. I thought I already had this out. There's the illustrator information there. If you want it, feel free to freeze frame and check out what you would like to see. And then clipbaronread.com. Yeah, it's in the back of the book. There we go. Hopefully that's focusing so you can see it. Okay. And I use dice as well. I use a 22-sided dice. I replaced 22 with, with 0 for the Major Arcana. And then I use um, a 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana. And I use a 4-sided dice to choose the element of the Minor Arcana. Um, math, math art fun. Mathartfun.com. Hopefully you can see that one too. Through that bag, mathartfun.com. If you're interested, that's where those dice came from. Okay. With that being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. James the number four Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and let's get into your reading. Hello, Taurus. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Taurus? Good energy coming towards you. That's it. That's it? That's it. Okay. There is good energy here. There's definitely changes, though. Um, so, the first thing I'm noticing is this wheelbarrow. This is the Seven of Pentacles, which means we're on our way, we're putting effort towards something, but we're nowhere near ready to actually make it come together. It's kind of like we're gathering the supplies to build a house, but we're not ready to start erecting the house. Um, that's where this whole situation seems to be transitioning through. It seems like this is a long period. Um, this seems like we're, this is the part where like we we know where we're going to build the house, and we're you know we're scheduling things, we're having things delivered and put to the side, you know, and we're making sure we have the time, and you know we're making plans for the weather, you know we're putting it all together. There's, there's some purchasing, there's some storing, but there's not, we're not actually creating it right now. We are bringing together all the supplies and all the plans, though. That's what this whole reading, I feel like, is going to be about. Um, the ironic thing is, you are more than ready to start. You got the death card in your thoughts, and you got the stress card, which is this one, uh, which is the nine of swords. I feel like this is out of standard, off plan, late, to make it really simple. I wanted to already start by now, and it keeps being pushed back. It is progressing, but it's kind of like, listen, I wanted to be living in this house in two years. If we keep going at this rate, it might be five or possibly six years. I'll still get my goal, and you, and you will. But it's kind of like, I want to be living in this house and being happy with it in two years, not five, possibly six. So I feel like that's the stress here. Like, this is taking longer than it should. Uh, and I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, 
I already put in a lot of effort. You already put in a lot of effort to get it where it is so far. And it's kind of like things keep stepping in front of you. It's kind of like, you know, there's family emergencies I have to take care of. And then, okay, we have to take care of that. All of a sudden, like work takes precedent. And I'm like, I end up, it's almost like I hate when this happens and it has happened. Um, it's kind of like work decides, oh, this is happening or that's happening. So everybody has to work uh, every week, every Saturday for the next six months. Um, that's happened to me before. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand why they're allowed to do that, but I guess they are. Um, so they get to like, they basically get to steal your time because they're compensating you money, whether you like it or not, you have to do it. Um, and it's kind of like, it makes your plans go back. Kind of like, that's not what I was planning for my time. Um, I'm not better. You can't tell, can you? <laughs> uh, especially when I look back at that time and like the money that I got from it versus the things I lost that I'd rather have done just didn't balance in my favor in my opinion. Um, anyway, this is how this is feeling. Because I'm trying to move forward and things keep stepping in front of me. My plans are the Page of Cups, or the Page of Pentacles, they were your plans. Taurus plans are the Page of Pentacles. They're not moving forward very quickly. They seem to be stagnating and going slowly. Other things keep jumping in front, jumping in front, jumping in front, jumping in front. And it's kind of like, how much longer do I have to do this this way? Because my plans are not moving forward the way I want them to. Sisters of the Seasons are showing up with the Metal King and the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, so. Things are already out of standard. But there's a chance, okay, I wanted it in two years. It doesn't seem like that's realistic anymore. Three years might have a possibility. Three years would be better than five to six years. But <laughs> it's a little saucy with how it comes in. Because when the Ace of Wands comes in, it's like a lot of energy all at once. And then the, and then it just kind of like, it, it kind of comes in bursts. It comes in like, like it's kind of like, Really strong bursts, and then it kind of dies down. And then another burst shows up randomly, and it kind of dies down. Like, fire is not, like, it doesn't have, like, a beat, even though it can. But I don't feel like this has, like, a beat or rhythm. It kind of shows up when it shows up. And when I'm getting the Sisters of the Seasons, there might be certain times where you realize it's more likely than not. So, for example, building a house. Where I live, winter, not the best time to do that. I would say, like... Probably like late spring to early fall, that window. So there's probably like a six six month window right in the center there. That that's where the best chances are. So when things go your way and things are favorable, it's kind of like maybe I'm gonna have to like be careful with my vacations, and just like when a moment comes, take the vacations when I can, get as much done in that week, and then it's gonna kind of stagnate, and then. You know, when the spots come in, do as much as possible. You already have the plans. You already know what has to be done. It will be done correctly. It's just very uncomfortable to go, like, like just keep sprinting every now and then. Um, I think of Taurus as more of a mar marathon at your pace. Uh, doesn't mean you literally have to run. So even if you're walking, for example, like... Maybe you like to... Maybe you're okay with walking. It's kind of like, I'm going to walk five miles every day. Or maybe... I'm going to walk five miles on Saturday and five miles on Sunday, just for argument's sake. And that's how you do it, week after week, week after week. You get used to it, that's how you do it, that's how it goes. That's more like the rhythm that you would prefer. This is kind of like, we're going to sprint 25 miles, randomly. <laughs> just randomly. And it's kind of like, I don't like that. I don't want to do that. But also having the capability to do that. For if you want to stay on track, it's those sprints that will get you there. Again, the, the plan is already sent, set. It will be done correctly. It's just like it's not comfortable. It's just, is it more advantageous? Like which, which works out better for you? Getting it done in the three-year time frame, which is still a year after you wanted it, but closer than five to six. Is it worth it if you have to sprint every now and then to make it happen? Or doing it your pace and it might take five to six years. So it's like, how do you balance it? Like, which is better for you? 
like, do you want it done sooner or do you, are you, is it like, well, if I have to do it, if it, if the only way we're going to get it done fairly on time, well, with, you know, a little bit better, I have to sprint. Is it worth it? Or do I just take the long road and take the five, possibly six years to do it? Which works, which do I prefer? Because I'm getting, you're going to have the help to make it happen. Part of the help, this is part of the sprint thing too. People that are going to be helping you, I don't feel like they're my first choice, but they are competent. They are competent. So if, if it was like you were going to have a house built, the people you have doing it aren't your first choice, it's going to have to be inspected anyway. And I feel like I respect, I, I, I believe in the inspector. I have trust, I trust the inspector. So if they do it wrong, I'll know. And if they do it wrong, they have to come back and fix it. And they're going to be the ones paying for their own mistakes. So I feel like I have confidence in that. But I'm like, these aren't my first choice for these people to do it. That's coming in. Um, it's all about what works better for you. The challenge is to step away with what just seems like the default plan. To just letting it happen and taking it five to six years. Step away from that. And ironically, that doesn't mean you choosing the sprint version. It doesn't. Step away from it a bit. Really think it out. And if you're committed, like, you know what? This is going to take five to six years. And you accept that and you lock into that. You'll be fine. Everything will work out the way it needs to. I just feel like I don't want to commit to that. I don't want it to take five to six years. I feel like that's very aggravating. But on the other hand, if you commit to like, all right, I'm going to get this done in three years. We're going to do it. I'm going to accept the way this has to go because I want that done. I know the plan is already set. I know that's solid. I know I believe in it. And I know they have the safeguards. It will be correct. It will be what I want. It's just I don't like the sprint. I don't like the sprinting mentality. But if that's the way it has to be for me to get it done in three years, I will do that. It doesn't matter which way you choose as long as you actively choose. Step back make your choice. Because if you choose like, okay, it's five to six and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to accept it. And it works out that way. You'll be fine. You'll get things that you'll be fine because you'll make appropriate choices along the way that will improve your situation and make the, and make the travel a lot easier for you. If you're not actively choosing and you just default to that, there's going to be a lot of stress and there's going to be a lot of aggravation. Um, I just feel like I'm, I'm conserving, I'm over-conserving or something like that. I feel like I'm not living my life like I need to. Like, there's your, your life is meant to be more enjoyable. And if I'm like, if I'm not like choosing the five to six year pattern, if I'm just like defaulting to it, it just seems like I'm not living my life in a way that I could enjoy it. It's not working right. Like you're cheating yourself of a lot of happiness because I, I'm, I'm stuck on that and I keep feeling like it's off balance. I'm constantly aggravated that it's not where it should be and I keep trying to get it to get back on track even though it won't go back on track. That's the default version. If I step back and go, all right, it's going to take five to six, I reevaluate my plan, I re-space it out, and I make the appropriate adjustments so that I can still enjoy life and it's not going to aggravate you if you accepted it. If you already looked at it, you're like, you know what, this is what it is. It's not going to drive you nuts because you're going to be like, yeah, I didn't like it when I had to accept it. But once I accepted it, you have to literally accept it. <laughs> then I was fine. No matter which way you choose. No matter which way you choose. Ultimately, this will work out. You will hit, you know, you will get where you want to. You will be happy. You will have the outcome you want. The mark will be hit sooner or later. It will get there. The situation will get there. I don't think that's going to shock you. Um, it's all about, you know, your attitude getting towards it, really. Um, and you're in control of that. You are patient because you've learned to be. You have to be to get the outcome you want for the quality you want. Um, this reading, I keep getting it over and over again. It's all about you stepping back and consciously choosing your path. The default will drive you crazy. And I feel like a lot of people, not a lot, but some people would probably look at this like, what does it matter if I end up on the same path? It's your mindset. Literally, it's your mindset. It makes the world a difference. The perspective is what makes the whole thing work one way or the other. Again, because like if you keep expecting, like, I'm going to get this back on track, 
I'm going to make this work out. Like if I keep trying to bring it back on track and it's just never going to get there, there's a lot of frustration with that. If I accept that it will never go on to the original plan, it will never work out that way, and I reevaluate my plan, there's peace in that. There's more happiness there. There's more like, okay, this is going to take five to six years, and I'm not going to go five to six years without going. Maybe you like to go to the Bahamas, or you make there's some place you like to travel, or there's this you want to do or that you want to do. You work that into your plan. This is going to take five to six years. During that time, I'm also going to enjoy these other things. Maybe there's certain games you like to go through with certain certain performances or whatever traveling you like to do. You'll make sure that's in there because you're like, I'm not going to keep over conser conserving my energy when it's going to take that long anyway. Vice versa, with a three-year plan, if you decide to do that one, it's like, all right, I'm going to be sprinting. I hate doing that. I hate it. But at least I'll get where I want to. And once I get to that spot in three years, it's where I want it to be. Then I can put my life back where I want to and I don't have to look back anymore. I can just look forward and be happy. It's all about the active choice. Oh, it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge, huge difference. All right. Um, anything else? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.